Hello aspirant, this is Ranjit from Shankar IAS Academy. We expected clerical notification. Of course, uh, it released two days ago. Now, but unexpectedly, we are getting, uh, we are receiving only 6,000 vacancy all over India. But actually, this is state comp state-based competition. So, we receive only 288 posts in Tamil Nadu. So, that uh, in that 288 posts, of course, uh, aspirants are very disappointed. But uh, we have a we have we, we have some hope because uh, some banks are not uh, reported like uh, around 11 banks are participated only seven uh, can be uh, giving a uh, i mean vacancies and the remaining five they say like that not reported so not reported means maybe maybe they may they'd be mentioned uh, later on so they they will be increasing vacancies later on so we are expecting around uh, less than 500 vacancies if supposed to be announced like that the major bank like indian indian overseas bank not reported so it might be reported later on so maybe we are getting uh, 100 or 200 vacancies more but anyhow finally we need only one vacancies among 288 because um, uh, those who are looking for sincere aspirants in the examination we need only one vacant only one vacancies right so let's see IBBS clerk 2022 it's only for the overview IBBS official website IBBS.in so that if you want to register your application just visit uh, IBBS.in and you will be get more uh, information in the advertisement so that once you read the advertisement and how to approach and how to um, uh, fill the applications everything is given clearly given so reading all the annexures next one post it's a clerk uh, participating 11 bank actually 7 only uh, reporting remaining 5 is not reporting application mode online exam mode is also online number of uh, vacancies all over India 6035 in Tamil Nadu 288 recruitment process prelims plus fines exam educational qualification any graduate graduate salary 30,000 um, age limit 20 to 28 years job location within your state so this is a, a big advantage because uh, job location within our state so that many students uh, they are looking for that exams ibbs clerical next one important dates so ibbs clerk notifications 2022 30 june uh, it release notification date then application start date 1st july then next one is a preliminary examination September month then mains examination after those who cleared a preliminary they are eligible for mains examination so mains examination uh, October month 8th October then declaration of the final result means April so every April 1st they will be declared final result and you will be alerted which bank right so this is a specific thing uh, for IBBS, every uh, April, they will be um, given an uh, allotment. Whatever it is, whether it is clerical, PO, SO, whatever it is, so they will be allotted final April, 20, I mean 2023, April 1st. They will be allotted the bank. Next one. Age criteria. Actually, the minimum age is 20, maximum age is 28 years. Uh, of course, uh, we have a relaxation so that um, from 20 minimum years, maximum 20 28 so your candidate must have been born or not earlier than 2 7 1994 so clearly mention 2 7 1994 so from 2 7 1994 to 1 7 2022 so these are the asan date so before the date not less than 20 years uh, at the same time not more than 28 years and there is a age relaxation so for example ACST adding 5 years 28 plus 5 years you can able to write so 28 plus 5 then other uh, obc you can write 28 plus 3 years so 31 years is a maximum age right the next one physical disab uh, disabilities person disabilities like 10 years so that 28 plus 10 years so adding with that because uh, 28 is it's a maximum age then you can add with the age relaxation so that is supposed to be belongs to SCST category 5 years and uh, obc category they provided 3 years right so next one educational qualification uh, any recognition university by government of india approved uh, like uh, ug is a minimum degree 
uh, that it is not required percentage so that uh, UG is the minimum degree. Many students they ask question we are in the final year student whether we are uh, uh, I mean we are eligible for, uh, for I mean we are eligible or not. So your result was published before 2017-2022 your result was published means you can able to apply the exams otherwise you cannot apply the exam right. Next one examination phase actually examination phase there are two phase prelims and mains there is no interview this is one of the uh, uh, very important thing there is no interview so mains mark they will be considered right and examination pattern first of all let's see the prelims uh, english numerical ability reasoning english 30 questions 30 marks numerical ability 35 question 35 marks reasoning ability 35 mark, 35 questions 35 marks but actually the challenging is nothing but duration sectional timing is a big challenge so 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 minutes <coughs> each section you have a 20 minutes of time so total one hour so there is no composite time actually so sectional timing is given and one more challenge is sectional cutoff is also there at the same time overall cutoff is also there right so sectional cutoff overall cutoff both in uh, clerical at the same time you have a sectional timing okay next one <coughs> the next one is nothing but mains pattern mains pattern is a reasoning ability along with the computer aptitude so they are asking 50 questions 60 marks english language 40 questions 40 marks 35 minutes even sectional timing is also there quantitative aptitude 50 questions 50 marks 45 minutes general finance awareness banking awareness 50 questions 50 marks and 35 minutes so total 160 minutes so 190 questions they convert into 200 marks right. so this is also very important this is play a vital role in your merit marking so this is very very important mains examination prelims it's only for the qualification so they consider merit mark only for mains right next one these are the syllabus so before going to syllabus we should know that how to crack preliminary examination so how to crack preliminary examination we have uh, two types one is scoring area another one is non-scoring area so listen guys this is very simple scoring area is nothing but like uh, let's take uh, numerical ability number series simplification quadratic equation data interpretation the first four number series simplification quadratic equation data interpretation these four are a scoring area because once you are very strong in this four area so that you can able to uh, write like uh, uh, around you are getting out of 35 you will be securing like 30 marks you will be securing 30 marks because the previous year cutoff was 67.5 in tamil nadu maximum cutoff 81 in uttragan right so the maximum cutoff 81 in uttragan out of 100 what i am saying out of 100 of course it is a possible of course it is possible right because if you are looking for only the scoring area right it is definitely possible if you are very strong in scoring area at the same time if you are i mean uh, time management plus accuracy these three are very very important right so these three are very very important right the next one reasoning puzzle and arrangement inequality alpha uh, series syllogism coding decoding blood relation directions order and ranking so these are very important actually we have given both prelims and mains right now i'm going to tell you uh, the main thing actually the main area so these are the scoring areas only four area in mathematics only six or seven areas in reasoning so once you are very strong in math and reasoning definitely you can be able to get 30 plus 30 so 60 marks out of 70 so once you are getting out of 70 if you are securing like 60 definitely you will be getting what 70 more than 70 last time in tamil nadu 67.5 marks out of 100 by this time definitely more than that because last time we have a vacancy like 600 or 800 something but by this time we have only 288 right exactly off so in this case um, maybe uh, uh, you are uh, like a cutoff it might be increases so whatever it is the safety uh, thing is more than 70 or 75 plus 
that is um, scoring area please uh, target like that because uh, 70 plus 70 to 75 uh, marks if you are secure definitely will be clear preliminary examinations right so we'll be discuss about all those things uh, how to approach uh, scoring area what is the pra uh, preparation what is the strategy will be discuss about later okay thank you